These are confusing and troubling times for men. Masculinity is at a crisis point, and we are seeing decades, even centuries, of negative masculine ideals and values coming home to roost and impacting men in horrific ways. Listen to these very disturbing stats regarding men. 80% of persons arrested for violent crimes are males. Men are often taught at a young age that violence is an acceptable form of conflict resolution. When you're in a disagreement, it's okay to yell, get in each other's face, which can oftentimes lead to fisticuffs. If someone bumps into you or steps on your new shoes, in some communities, punching or shooting them is an expected response. In the old days, you would just be challenged to a duel. Growing up in Los Angeles has forced me to experience this by losing multiple friends to violence. There's no coming back from that. Families and lives are ruined by something so trivial and avoidable. We can do better. Another data point I want you to consider is that males are four times more likely to commit suicide than females. The normalcy of not expressing ourselves or acknowledging our pain will build up and manifest itself in forms that can be unhealthy, detrimentally unhealthy, physically and mentally, to men. Walk it off, get, out, get back in the game. Get up, it didn't hurt that bad. Boys don't cry. Those are all things that most men have heard or said throughout our lifetimes. And as a former athlete and veteran, I've seen my brother suffer from chronic injuries, CTE, and PTSD. And we all know someone that suffered from maladies like cancer, heart disease, or diabetes that can all be connected back to a lack of self-care. I also have lost family members to suicide. That was the most traumatizing events that my family and I had to endure. So I want to help prevent anyone from experiencing that level of pain. But the most tragic statistic to me is that 98% of mass shootings are carried out by men. There's this pressure to exude and conform to the strict definition of masculinity that includes this predisposition to violence and negligent self-care. So it's no surprise that when someone doesn't feel masculine, they act out in horrific ways to prove their masculinity. Notice how mass shootings are often centered around a man that's struggling with himself, his place in the world, or his identity in some way. As a lesser, um, a lesser but still indicative example, we even witnessed one of the most accomplished entertainers of all time lose self-control and assault a friend in front of the world. All from what seems to stem from his definition of antiquated uh, masculinity. Now, although I've never experienced a mass shooting myself, as a parent of three boys, there's this universal, ever-present fear that you're going to get a text or a phone call saying there's an active shooter at my child's school. This is a worry my parents didn't even have to consider. None of our parents did. An unfortunate byproduct of our failure to our boys. This has to stop now. We need to start redefining masculinity in a way that results in longer, healthier, and happier lives allowing men to create a better world for themselves, their families, and their communities. My place in this world is as a father, a leader, and entrepreneur. Therefore, using my experiences, my platform, and my platform to showcase the evolved man, which I coined the thorough man, is not only my passion, but is also my responsibility to help every man, including myself, become the best version of themselves. Now, I know I just, we introduced a term called thorough man. It sounds like some Comic-Con, uh, you know, superhero Marvel character being introduced, but bear with me on that. The thoroughly crafted gentleman, AKA thorough man, is the embodiment of new masculinity. No longer should the only measure of a man be strictly defined by his title, his doggedness, or his possessions. Rather, it is evolving to also be defined as a competent, self-aware, and compassionate individual. Being a thorough man starts with a strong sense of self that allows you to constantly learn and strive to be better each day. As masculinity evolves, we begin to peel back and peel away the old to see the new. Even as it grew from a boy to a man, I realized that masculinity was layered. Through self-reflection, research, and even small focus groups, I found there are really three key layers to masculinity. The first layer is acceptance. This is the ability to know, to, to know yourself and authentically live in your own skin, giving you the confidence to navigate life while controlling your narrative and living in your purpose. Accepting who you are will give you this, a sense of pride, not allowing you to feel insecure or inadequate. 
thus eliminating the fear and insecurity that may cause you to make decisions or do, do things you otherwise would not do, like hurt someone to prove your masculinity. Now you're able to tell your story and begin creating a legacy which you and your family can be proud. I learned from Maya Angelou that if you're going to live, leave a legacy. Make a mark on the world that can't be erased. The second layer is self-care. This is the, the ability to recognize your physical, mental, and spiritual needs. Good health leads to a longer life while providing the ability to protect and uplift your friends and family. So don't let external pressures make you feel weak for expressing your pain or emotions because the pain and anxiety is your body's way of communicating with you that like, yo man, I need help. I need this attention, bro, help me out. And honestly, it's quite selfish to neglect your self-care. What good is it to accomplish all these amazing things if you're not here to enjoy it? Or if you just become a burden on the ones you love? So many people spend their health gaining wealth and then have to spend their wealth to regain their health. Think about that. That doesn't even make sense. Think about that. The third layer is giving. Philanthropy is not only good for the world, but it is good for your soul. Giving includes charity, mentorship, and empathy. Giving money is great, but you can also donate your time and your wisdom. In some cases, that's even better than money. Allow your empathy to guide you and embrace that connectivity with other humans. Pay it forward for all the people who helped you along the way and inspire someone else to pay it forward creating a domino effect of good deeds and positive human interactions. You feel good, the person you're helping feels good, in turn, the world can be a better place. If you don't believe me, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali said, service is the rent you pay for your room in heaven. Now, I'm not a religious person, but that is a profound way to look at giving back. The three layers of acceptance self-care and giving, provide a simple blueprint to a healthier and happier version of masculinity, the thorough man. Thorough man is an aspirational lifestyle to become a better version of yourself today than you were yesterday and to be better tomorrow than you are today. The goal is to enhance the world for yourself, your family, and your community. Learn how to love yourself, take care of yourself, and just help others along the way. And this is by no means a lecture or judgment on anyone in their lifestyle. You decide what this self-improvement journey looks like to you. Thorough man is simply my definition of the modern man and my solution to a problematic trend. I believe that as masculinity evolves and takes new forms, the thorough man will confidently blend well in every room, no matter your race, religion, sexual orientation, political party, social, economic, or education level. In closing, masculinity is evolving. Masculinity is layered. A new man is emerging, the thorough man. Now, I know this topic has depth, and I can expand on each layer, and I will. But I am excited to continue the conversation moving forward because I am committed to the thorough man movement. I am not only on my own personal journey of self-improvement, but I have created a nonprofit through my men's lifestyle brand, Thoroughly Crafted Good, called Think Like a Thorough Man where we will collaborate with different organizations like schools, teams, prisons, and provide mentorship to men and boys that are interested in beginning their journey. I will use my reach, my network, and my platform at Thorough Vision with the Z to promote and educate people on this Thorough Man concept. Thank you for your time and attention. Hunter, KJ, and Kai, this is for you. I love you. Be thorough.